Here we are in Peachtree City at 203 Double Trace Lane. My wife and I bought this house about eight years ago, moving back from Colorado. I've lived in Peachtree City for 25 years now, aside from traveling for a year here and there. And so this was our house coming back as a young family. And uh, we loved it. With a, it had a nice big yard. It's one of the first things we noticed when we pulled up and just big yard played a lot of games with the kids out here over the few years we lived here so it's been torrential downpours so I've been waiting for the rain to stop to do a video and in fact it's starting to rain again so just real quick show you the yard and then we'll head inside and take a look nice big yard well established uh, centipede grass it's got a nice screened in porch on the back. The two car garage was converted to a full basement years ago. And so in its place was a storage shed installed against the house. And then uh, we added another storage shed out here to put our yard tools in. It's a good size one. I think it's a 10 by 10 or eight by 10. Uh, it's plenty big for all of our tool yard tools the house had a new paint job about four years ago also a new roof here's your backyard nice big driveway one thing that we had thought about to do not too expensive is just to add a small carport you know um, not even a full car full garage wouldn't cost a whole lot to put a carport here for two cars and uh, at least it would keep your cars out of the rain, but it never really bothered us. We'd, I'd rather have the interior space than the garages, since the only thing we really needed a garage for was lawn tools and to collect junk we didn't need. So here we are. Like I said, uh, the roof is about three years old. It's uh, architectural shingles. We went ahead and put the nice ones on. That's nice. All the paint is uh, about three years old. All the landscaping has been done. Super nice. House has got a lot of nice curb appeal. There's the rose bushes out there that my wife planted. Beautiful front yard. Sat on the front porch here and uh, talked to the neighbors and hung out and watched kids play in the yard so often when we were living here. I actually just redid the front porch and it's super nice. Brand new, pressure treated of course, decking. So let's head inside and I'll show you around real quick. The house has um, been completely painted all the trim and walls have been painted new fixtures turn the uh, light off real quick there so you can see that sometimes the way the lighting hits the lens doesn't allow for good lighting teak wood floors they're uh, really nice laminate floors and they're all brand new with a, so you've got the brand new hardwood look Nice big uh, living room area here on the main level. Comes into a nice big kitchen with an eating area. The cabinets have been freshly painted. Brand new stainless steel appliances. In fact, we even left the plastic on there just to keep it protected. Tile backsplash. Brand new faucet. Nice. Uh, granite uh, style uh, laminate countertops. It's a big, really big, uh, it's a 17 foot by 14 foot um, screened in porch out here off the back. And we're still cleaning up just a little bit so we got the vacuum cleaner here. It's nice and nice to have this extra area. Spent a lot of times out here, put the barbecue in the backyard and sometimes in the screened in porch which is nice, no mosquitoes. Downstairs, just about one, two, three, four, five stairs. And this is what I was talking about earlier. The house was, uh, this actually used to be a two car garage. Brand new fix, light fixtures, all new paint. And so yeah, this was finished off, I'm sure probably many years before we bought the house. I even uh, have some uh, surround sound system here. We put the, uh, we actually, what we did was we put the TV here and made this kind of our movie theater room. So it was really nice having the surround wired here. 
pre-wired already for the stereo system. All new light fixtures. I know that might be hard to see in the video. Really nice uh, wooden uh, blinds down here. And then one thing my wife did that we always liked better than the sliding doors, which seemed to kind of be hard to open and close, is she put these curtains up for the, for the closet areas. And of course, nothing really to see. It's a closet. There is a, a, a crawl space underneath and that's a uh, brand new, uh, about three months old, is the uh, HVAC unit underneath the crawl space of the house. So it does have a brand new HVAC uh, um, heater unit. The air, air, that one went out this winter, so we put a brand new one in. And then of course the one uh, outside is about seven years old, just the fan part of the HVAC. So um, again, over here, we just found it easier to use the curtains for the laundry room. So here's your laundry room. And we did a nice, just kind of a cool lamp, mason jar lamp here. Um, new cabinets. You have the option of electric or gas. Sorry, the camera's not adjusting here. Let's see if I can get it to adjust. I'm not sure why it's doing that. There we go, probably because of the light. There we go. Um, so we've got gas here, we've got a gas line or electric for the, um, for the dryer, which is really cool. We do have the doors for this uh, closet. They're out in the storage shed. We just like the way that the, uh, I like the way that the car curtains look. They're just really pretty. Like I said, ceiling fans are all brand new. Light fixtures are all brand new. Of course, brand new carpet. And you may catch, sorry, my camera's taking a second to catch up with me moving around so fast. And part of it is just the bright lighting. So you'll notice brand new carpet. It's a uh, frise, uh, brand new padding underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six stairs. And then six more, I believe. So heading up to the upstairs, and you'll see we put down this plastic uh, carpet shield for the brand new. So heading up the six stairs to go up to split level, uh, freshly remodeled bathroom, slate tile, beautiful uh, ceramic flooring that, that replicates the hardwood, really popular right now. Very, very nice. New light fixtures, new mirror, new water fixtures. Very, very beautifully remodeled bathroom. First bedroom with a fresh paint, closet, of course, new light, uh, new ceiling fan. Second bedroom, same size as the first. Same thing, all new paint, I mean, throughout. This fan's actually on a, on a uh, remote. So that's a new fan unit. And then here's the master bedroom, much larger, of course, than the two smaller children's bedrooms. The ceiling fan and the uh, light fixture being on two separate switches. And that is a new, brand new ceiling fan as well. Brand new carpet. I'm trying to get the best here with the lights going on and off. Absolutely stunning. My wife's upset that we waited to when we were selling the house to remodel this Travertine shower stand up with a bench um, And then of course the nice uh, porcelain Flooring that uh, looks like the hardwoods brand new vanity all new fixtures new mirror new light fixtures This thing is just absolutely beautiful. The tile guys did a fantastic job Brand spanking new. In fact, it probably, it's been sealed, but it probably need to be sealed again. And actually, if you put a gloss sealer on it, it really make it pop. We just, we just put one coat of sealer on it just to seal it for waterproofing. But if you wanted to make it look really hot, you'd throw another coat of gloss sealer on it. We also went with a more modern square drain. Of course, brand new uh, fixtures. Well, I'm trying to keep the video to about 10 minutes, so I'm about running out of time here. It does have a nice big two-door closet um, and we kind of said his and hers closets in some ways. Jennifer, my wife, always used this closet and then I always got the little one because that's how we usually do it and I just didn't need as much closet space. So it's nice the master bath bedroom actually has two closets, the bigger one and the smaller one. 
so there you have it. Uh, we are asking one ninety nine nine, and um, I think it's a very competitive price here in Peachtree City. Um, I love this house. We've got a lot of great memories here. Um, there's about well, today is the twenty seventh of June, so we're putting it up on the market right at the beginning of July two thousand and fifteen. There are about eight to twelve other houses in Peachtree City under to the $200,000 range. I think this is for the money, one of the nicer uh, houses in the neighborhood, or I'm sorry, in Peachtree City. Also, not far down the road, um, this is one thing we always loved, was just down the road, uh, it's called golf cart paths, just going right around the corner. Glenlock Recreation Center, which has a swimming pool. You can go, we used to send the kids over there to swim. They can ride their bikes. Macintosh is a bike ride away, golf cart drive away. Um, the, uh, it's not called Whole Foods, but the health food stores right down there. Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, shopping, all of that. So there you have it. I think this is gonna make a great house for somebody. This is a great place to live. Like I said, I've been in Peachtree City for 25 years and I love it. My kids have, are growing up here. Um, we love it. It's the safest, uh, safest neighborhood, safest city in the state of Georgia, and really one of the safest uh, places to live in America. I think Peachtree City is, and I know Peachtree City is top ten. I think it was number eight in most desirable cities to live in. So, I figure if you're watching this video, you may be thinking about moving to Peachtree City from somewhere else. Because if you live close enough, you just stop by and see the house for yourself. This is a beautiful place. It's got great curb appeal. The grass looks great. Um, everything inside has been remodeled. This house is ready to be moved into and enjoyed.